Late in the evening of March 16th, 2018, in Charlotte, North Carolina, this happened. Incredible performance. Shock it all in college basketball. UNBC makes history in Charlotte. The University of Maryland, Baltimore County, did the unthinkable, becoming the first number 16 seed to defeat a number one seed in the history of the NCAA men's basketball tournament. To say this was surprising is an understatement. Virginia was ranked the number one team in the country and had only lost three times all year. In other words, it was about as shocking as you'd expect when a team named the Retrievers beats a team named the Cavaliers. It just really gives you pause, you know? Ugh. <laughs> Such a terrible pun. But while it's natural to wonder how a 16 beat a 1, perhaps a better question is, how hasn't this happened already? Prior to UMBC's <coughs> dogged victory over Virginia, number 16 seeds had gone 0 and 135 against number 1 seeds since the matchups began in 1985. But while it's pretty clear that 16 seeds have very low odds of winning against a number 1 seed, it has always been clear that their odds aren't zero either. 15 seeds have beaten 2 seeds several times, and over the years a few 16s have come so close to an upset that they could smell it. Sorry, I'll, I'll stop now. I poked around online for estimates on the odds of a 16 upsetting a 1. Everything I found was speculative, of course, but most of them landed pretty consistently between a 2 and 3% chance that any given 16 seed would beat a 1 seed. That means it's unlikely, but also that you would expect it to have already happened by now. It's one of those counterintuitive aspects of probability. It is likely that the unlikely will happen sooner or later. Think of Yahtzee. Rolling five of a kind is very unlikely on any given roll, but if you played for years and never rolled a Yahtzee, that would be strange. So if those probabilities I found are close to accurate, it would mean that on average a 16 seed should beat a 1 seed once every 12 years or so. Before this upset, the tournament went 33 plus years and 135 matchups without a 16 beating a 1. Given a 2% chance of an upset each game, the odds of going that long without one are about 6.5%, or in other words, just barely better than the odds of rolling exactly a 10 with two dice on the first try. Unfortunately, there's no satisfying answer here. It could be that the odds of a 16 beating a 1 are a lot lower than the calculations I found, or that there's some other human element the math hasn't accounted for, or maybe we just happened to roll that 10. All these probabilities are just theory, and we don't have a large enough sample size to draw any conclusions based purely on real-life matchups so far. Whatever the odds are, one thing we do know, it was always going to happen eventually if we just waited long enough. But even if it's inevitable, when something leaps out of the realm of theory and becomes a real thing in real life, that's amazing. You might even call it a golden moment. So late.